What's all that about? Well, it's a sacred site. What, there beside the detergent? Yeah, it's where the one tree for miles around used to stand. And then we put up the shop and cut down the tree, didn't we? They weren't too happy about that. Yeah, I can imagine. It's where their children are dreamed. That's what they reckon. First the fathers dream the children, and the children are born. And that's the only place the children can be dreamed? That's right. We used to chuck them out of there. They kept on coming back. the world was as clear to me. I studied rocks and geological strata. I know that the earth is round and that it moves, but what shape the universe is and where it's going, I don't know. Stars have been discovered rushing with almost the speed of light away from us to the borders of the universe. And I can't rid myself of the feeling that one day someone will prove that the universe is like a snail shell coiling in on itself with an interior and no exterior. And that these same stars that are rushing away from us are in fact on a collision course with us. There are mathematicians working on these theories. They call it curved space. <laughs> it's like this. A man hangs himself from a rope in a tree and just dangles there on his rope. Now, how many ropes would he need to be absolutely still? How many points of reference so that his position is fixed in a three-dimensional space. How many? One. One additional rope would do it. Then he wouldn't move anymore. But how many ropes would we need? How many ropes would the Earth need to be absolutely still in the universe? because everything moves. How could we become absolutely still? And what would these ropes be tied to? You white men are lost. You don't understand the land. Too many silly questions. Your presence on this earth will come to an end. You have no sense no purpose, no direction. <laughs> 